Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Caribbean Cacao Cocoa Butter. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the company, then I'm going to talk about the product itself. Um, I'm going to tell you what you can use it for and my opinion of it. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so this company is called Caribbean Cacao, I believe it is. I bought this off of Amazon, so I wanted to get some cocoa butter. And I use cocoa butter in my body butters, I create my own body butters. Um, and I purchased this because I believe it was cheaper than Better Shea Butter, and I usually purchase from Better Shea Butter. Um, and there's a couple other companies I purchased from as well, such as Now. Um, I did like the package that it came in. And then later, as I was writing my blog post and making the video, I tried to find out more information about this company, and I really couldn't find anything about it. So the only thing that I really know about it is it is located in Miami, Florida, and it is distributed by the Natural Source LLC. Um, that's all the information that I know about the company. So let's talk about the product itself. So this is one pound, so it's 16 ounces of cocoa butter. It's natural, raw, and unrefined. So this, because it's unrefined, is going to smell like chocolate. And I personally don't mind having body butter that smells like chocolate, but I know that some people do care about that. So the one ingredient in here, and I'm going to show you guys the back, is it's cocoa butter. And they have nutrition facts on here. So you can actually eat this. And I have given it to my daughter um, to eat, and she loves it. Um, it is hard. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So with this, you can use it. Like I said, I use it in body butter, but you can eat it as well. So the container is very noisy. Um, but the container is just inside like that. And they do have the foil there to kind of protect it from light. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty, pretty hard. Um, I use this in the summer, so I make my own body butter, um, and in the summer it gets warmer, and um, I don't have um, air conditioning very well in my house, there's only a couple of my rooms, so I use more hard butters, um, a higher percentage of hard butters in my body butter, and cocoa butter is a cheap filler ingredient. Um, and I do like this. Um, the thing about cocoa butter is the comedogenic rating. So it has a comedogenic rating of 4, um, and the ratings vary between 0 and 5. What this rating is, is it said if a product, uh, an ingredient, sorry, an ingredient is rated at a 0, you are very unlikely to um, break out or have acne due to it. If it's a 5, then most people will. So cocoa butter is a 4, um, and I don't use it on my face, and I don't have body acne, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I've also recently found out that comedogenic ratings are not reliable at all, and I'm going to link below to two experts in the field, um, and they explain um, why they're not reliable, but basically what it is is they test on rabbits' ears and see whether or not they have a reaction. So it's not that ethical. Um, they are testing on animals, and rabbits and humans, you know, we are very different. Um, I haven't really seen rabbits naturally have acne, um, so you do have that issue to worry about. Um, so I do like this product. Um, the issue that I have is that I don't know anything about the company itself. So if I were to purchase, and I will be purchasing cocoa butter as soon as this one is up, I would purchase from a few companies. And the companies that I would recommend are, and I'm going to go in alphabetical order, um, Better Shea Butter. So Better Shea Butter, I have purchased a handful of things from her. Um, I have purchased their, the Shea Butter and the Mango Butter. She's got a very small company, uh, a niche company with only a few products. I would also purchase from Now, uh, Now Foods or Now Solutions. They have been around for a while. Um, I have cocoa butter that I was given to by uh, my mom, and it came in a white container. So it does come in a container. Um, I do prefer this pouch. Just because cocoa butter is so hard, I think it's just easier for me to get it out and chop it up. Um, and the other company that I would recommend is um, Rainforest Chica. So she is um, from Brazil. She's based out of Florida and she has recently started carrying uh, cocoa butter. Before she did not have that. She was more focused on just Brazilian oils and butters and now she has branched out to include um, other things such as um, cocoa butter. So I would check out those three companies and I'm going to link below. So I gave you guys some very basic information about the company. I do apologize. I couldn't find anything else. Um, if you do know anything about them, please let me know. And then I told you um, a little bit about um, the product itself and what I use it for. And I want to hear from you guys. Let me know 
whether or not you like cocoa butter um, in your uh, in your body products. Because I know that some people love it, some people hate it, and what form you use, whether it's refined or unrefined, and who you purchase from. So I do love reading your comments. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Please like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.